Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for another look at some of the world's finest riding gear. Today we're going to be showing you the Jondo Flight Jacket. This is new for spring summer 2019 and this is one of only a handful of bomber inspired designs that I can think of in the motorcycle clothing world. And this one is definitely the most lightweight and spring summer focused. And that's in spite of the fact there's actually a lot going on behind the scenes to make this a very protective and durable jacket. As a brand, John Doe have been doing increasingly well over the past season here at Urban Rider. Their jeans are selling like hotcakes and they really stand for sort of mid price point, but very high quality of products. And the fit particularly is always stand out even among our other brands as being very easy for people to get on with. So this bomber inspired design, it's shortcut. And as you can see here, we have it in the black. It may be available in a green later in the season, but for the time being, it's just this black, which is broken up with this off colored vintage hardware in the metal. So we've got this nice brass effect, the zips on the outside on the sleeve and on the Spanners logo on the left sleeve as well and down this central piece. And I think it really does look very striking. The fit's wonderful. And as I said, very, very lightweight overall. So really suited to this spring summer season. The actual outer nylon is mildly abrasion resistant, but in its own right, it's not likely to do masses in terms of abrasion resistant slide times, but it's behind that where the magic really happens. So you have John Doe's proprietary XTM liner to this garment. And this is their in-house blend of aramid fibers. So this uses DuPont Kevlar, which is the industry leader pretty much in terms of abrasion resistant aramid fibers. And that is then blended with the Coolmax liner as well, which is a temperature regulating moisture wicking liner, which works in both cold and hot conditions to keep you the right temperature regardless of what's going on externally. And that also is then blended with elastine to make it more expandable, comfortable, and to give the jacket more of a tailored fit overall. So these three things sound like it might amount to quite a chunky layer underneath, but it really isn't. It feels very lightweight and almost exactly the same as any fashion style bomber jacket that you might pick up off the shelves on the high street. So this comes in at 245 pounds, which isn't particularly cheap. It also doesn't include the armor. This is the only snagging point with John Doe. The armor is available separately, though it should be mentioned the pockets are fairly universal and you can usually just swap it across from other jackets that you own. A full armor set is 45 pounds inclusive of the back, but you can also cherry pick shoulders and elbows and back individually if you wish for obviously lower prices. So that's level one C approved stuff that goes in there. You can see it fitted here in the shoulders and elbows and it doesn't really do much to detract from the overall looks or the fit or the feel. It's very slim line and it works really well indeed. Easily removable too. So the fit of the jackets, it must be mentioned, it's slightly different to the XTM Moto shirt, one of their other popular items. In that, as someone with a 41 and a little bit inch chest, I was very much in a large. Here, I prefer the medium. Partly it's the bomber jacket cut to be a little bit perhaps looser around the midsection on the chest. But for me, going for the medium meant that it was just a little bit more fitted. I think it looked better. You can see it here in the video. I could get away with a large as well. This is quite often the case. You can pick a size. Uh, one or the other depending on your preference of the way it fits but do head over to urbanrider.co.uk we take all of the garments and we give you all the external measurements so you can be sure when you're buying even if you're overseas that you're getting something that represents what you want in terms of the fit compared to your favorite jackets you have at home so back to the jacket itself and in terms of features other than that it's fairly straightforward really we have a water repellent coating to this outer so this is really only good for very lightweight showers and very brief ones at that because ultimately it's not a waterproof jacket. None of the zips are manufactured in that way, nor are the seams. And clearly with this expandable piece at the top here, this is in a cotton and it's not gonna be particularly water repellent at all. So the jacket will keep you a little bit dry in very light rain, but other than that, you're gonna have to weatherproof yourself with an outer rain jacket. Underneath this, if we go down inside, you have very simply the liner that we mentioned earlier, the XTM liner, also with a horizontally accessed zip there on the left chest area. And you have a Velcro pocket horizontally accessed on the right chest area. So the flight jacket is in stock and available now. And ultimately, if you're in the market for a bomber jacket, for motorcycle riding, for spring, summer, then I can't really see why you would look past this item. We think it's great, but we'd love to know what you guys think. So do leave us your questions, comments, and feedback in the section below. And stay tuned, of course, for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.